By the end of this video, you'll know how to set up the parallax shader glasses on your avatar. To get started, first off, import the parallax shader Unity package that you've downloaded from Gumroad or Lemon Squeezy. Next up, you'll want to activate your Gumroad or Lemon Squeezy license key, depending on where you bought the asset from. Now we can go ahead and set up the glasses on the avatar. First off, go to Value Factory, Parallax. Take a look at the Parallax Showcase scene here. You'll find all of the available materials and the glasses models over here. We have the various Star and Somna themed ones, as well as some miscellaneous ones over here. How I recommend doing this is looking through these, see which ones you like, and then copying them. For this tutorial, I'll be grabbing this one here, copying it. So I've clicked on it and pr pressed Control C on my keyboard. Now we're going to go ahead and back, head back to our scene here. Click on the hierarchy here and press Control V to paste it. I'm going to go ahead and drag this into the Astro Wolf avatar here and then zero out the position here so that it's at the base of the avatar. Next, I'm going to take the armature and expand it until I see the head bone. Just like that, we're gonna take the glasses now and drag it onto the head bone. And now we can go ahead and position the glasses where we want them to be on the avatar. This includes scaling them up, scaling them down, however we feel like positioning them. And to get a better look, I'm gonna go into orthographic mode here like that by clicking the Little thingies there. Let's try to align this. Going to go ahead into the blend shapes and adjust how this looks. All right, that looks good to me. That's pretty much it. You can go ahead and upload this avatar now. If you'd like to enable audio link on the included presets, you can go ahead and find the material here and just click the audio link checkbox here. Uh, adjust any settings you want or just use the built-in audio link um, as all of the Asomna presets have audio link set up on them. Though you will have to have audio link installed in your project or else you're going to get a pink shader like this because I don't have audio link in this project. Uh, if you want to use the Orbit shader with these glasses, uh, you can go ahead and use one of the uh, Orbit's materials here. So for example, I'm using the crescents material, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the crescents here and drag it onto the lenses, or onto the frame rather. As you can see, um, the frame has been set up to work with the orbit shader. Of course, you do have to have the orbit shader installed in your project to use this, otherwise you're going to get a pink shader. That's about it. Have fun!